Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Star Trek Fleet Command. I feel like it's been a while since I made a video. Um, mostly because there really isn't that much stuff going on to talk about. Um, it's, it, it's kind of funny because me and a couple of friends, we've been talking and we used to be like the biggest spenders on the server. And we have, like, complete break on spending. It was, it's just kind of become aware to us, like, there really is no point. Um, if you do, if you want to do any kind of upgrades, you have to spend hundreds, if not, like, over a thousand dollars to do a simple upgrade to a gun. Or to, um, any part of your ship. And, um... And so that has been really aggravating. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a couple of, of things that I'm talking about, a couple of packs. Thankfully, um, before it goes away, these ship packs are going away. They've they've come and gone. They have like their own individual cloaking device. <laughs> they come and go like every week. Um, and I think Scopely is hoping someone is going to pick them up. They know that they have a limited amount of time for the Legionnaire and the Mayflower. Um, those are, those are level 26 ships. Um, and they know that people are progressing beyond level 26. And so these packs will disappear and more than likely come back again. Um... <laughs> And these packs are, are complete garbage. Uh, to, to be completely honest, I can't really say much else to it. The Salad and the Centurion, it is definitely a much better offer than what I paid for my Salad and my Centurion. Um, but the, the Legionary and the Mayflower, $200 a ship right now. Um, if, you, if you don't have one yet, I suggest, strongly suggest... Um, holding out because for one it's available in the faction store and for two when you see offers like just pop into the store all the time on the same thing then um <laughs> then it's a it's a pretty good bet that they're going to be discounted even further um then we have the special ultra station upgrade pack increased value remember the, those words increased value then we have the august elite daily reward pack okay so let's just let's just kind of compare these two because they're both the same price and uh i'm curious to see how they're different okay so let's see 11.5 latinum uh, 14.77 on the rare starting with the ore 204 136 136 and then we have 900, 625, 625. Let's pop over to the August Elite Daily Pack. Oh my god. It's like, it's like a mirror. <laughs> it's like exactly the same. Okay, well let's go down to the Par Steel and the Tritanium. Okay, so we get 25 mil par there. 200 100k tokens is 20 million so we're up to 45 million and uh 91 million par steel tokens okay so we're sitting at 135 million if i'm doing my math right if i'm not just let me know let's go to this increased value pack uh, let's see oh my god Let's see. Well, we got 25 and 20 and 45 and 90. God, that's like... Oh, my God. That's like the same. Um, Wow. That's crazy. Okay. Tritanium. We got 500 and 800,000. That's 1.3. So, there's 3.3 million trit. And then the dilithium is 200k. And then we got 100k there in 10k tokens. That's 300. And okay, so we got 600k. Okay. Let's take a look at the August.
August Elite Pack. Okay, let's take a look here. 500 and... Oh my god. It's like looking into a mirror. They're exactly the same. Okay, there's got to be something different here. Okay, so you got one day times three, eight hour times 15, blah, blah, blah. These are worthless items. Um, three hour times 30, one hour times 60, 15 minute times 120, blah, blah, blah. No one really cares about speed ups. Oh my god, they're like the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, <laughs> we have two packs that are exactly the same with, here, here's a little disclaimer. However, with the August Elite Daily Pack, you get 30 day tokens or 30 days worth of tokens. And you get, I haven't bought this in a while, but I believe it's still like a million par, like... 20k trip i mean it's really bad uh, or maybe it's 200k trip five uncommon of each blah 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 however you don't get that in the increased value pack i don't understand what's increased about the value uh, <laughs> there the, the i think the funny thing is is there is no increase there is a decreased value <laughs> compared to the August Elite Pack. Um, <laughs> maybe it's because you can buy more than one in August. It says limit one. I don't know what the increased value portion of this is, but it's not increased value. So what I would suggest to Scopely, when you're putting together these packs you have the same teamwork on them because literally what is going on here now this might not be going on but this is the appearance to me is you have two different teams putting together a pack not checking each other's work and saying oh this is a really good value this is an increased value a special ultra station upgrade pack my advice don't buy it <laughs> um <laughs> it's it's this is this is just laughable at best um and i know scopely is not going to be happy with me making this video but i felt obligated to make this video because it is so blatant in your face like crap um I mean, the packs have been really bad for, for quite some time. I do believe that, that people are still spending. I still see people spending. But I also do believe that Scopely notices the spending has come down quite a bit. Um, so what I would say is kind of hold off. Um, be smart about your purchases. Um, look at the packs very closely. Um... Before you make that, that purchase, um, talk to friends, talk to people in, in global chat, see what they think. Um, I mean, there's going to be some people like, oh my God, boo, you know, spending's bad. I like spending. I like spending on my games. I used to like spending on this game, um, but it's gotten to the point where it's not good, not good at all. Um, so, so there's that. That's kind of like the update here. Um, so I finally got back into my alliance. I spent seven days in exile, sad face. Um, and things are kind of, things are going a little crazy on our server. Not too bad. Not as bad as they were. Um, nothing I'm, I'm too concerned with. Um, but I have talked to a couple of players. A couple of players have been targeted based on what I have said in my videos. And I, and I want to say this to, to anyone that's uh, a subscriber of mine. Um, I don't like using the word fan because um, I just, you know, I just talk and literally shoot video with the Mobizen app I got, I got for free off <laughs> the Android uh, 
the Google Play Store. Um, but if I talk about someone in my video, um, and I, I'm going to be more careful about this in the future, I never want them to be personally attacked. And there were people that were in the Zero Alliance who got personally attacked because I think they may have raided me. They may have done things like my my conflict with another person in this game is my conflict. And I love it that you kind of want to take up take up that that fight for me. But I don't need that. And I don't want people to feel the way I don't want what's been done to me to happen to other people. That's just my natural um, state of mind is I can take it. I can take the people who try to bully me. I can take the people who try to get me to to rage quit this game. I can take all that and I can deal with it. And, you know, I can do what I need to do with that. Um, but at the same time, I don't want anyone to ever feel like that. <clears throat> And so, you know, some people have told me about that. And so um, I want to give a huge shout out to, to the guys at Crit. Um, because the guys at Crit have been dealing a, a lot with this. And I really wanted to send my sincerest apologies to them. That was never my intent for that to happen. Um, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, so... If, if anything like that, if you're thinking of, I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to get that guy back for Jansen. Don't, don't do it. Don't worry about it. I'm a big boy. I can, I can pull, <laughs> pull up my big boy pants and definitely take the fight to the other people. So um, I definitely wanted to throw that out there because when I heard about that and I'm like, no, no, that's not what I wanted to happen <laughs> at all. Um, so just keep that in the back of your mind if you're on my server um there's 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 that talking point i want to talk about i did get my balkus which is the um the faction miner i made like the initial footage with it and i wasn't too happy um so this one is let's see the ore miner, so the mining rate of ore is increased by 124.6%. And actually, let me see if I can swap this, if that's going to improve it. One hundred percent. Okay. And this has been fun. Um, I got one more upgrade to do. And then... Uh, this baby with Scotty is going to be Warp 40 ready, which would be pretty cool. Um, there's The nice thing about this is only the mining laser requires 500 uncommon crystal and 90 uncommon gas. And the cargo bay requires 400 uncommon crystal and 59 uncommon gas. I mean, this thing, without that, let's see. This thing with my miners is not can carry 938,000. Which is pretty sweet. Um, I haven't really been able to use it all that much because DKs are just flying across the board left and right. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it is, um, it's going to be a fun ship to use. Um, I definitely want to do, I'm trying to do some leveling up. I'm kind of in the situation where I've, I've stored up a good amount of uncommon because I have been trying for a long time to get this thing to go um and i was probably up to like 1600 at one point but my rnd i required 300 uncommon crystal um so i took a hit from that and this is one of the last things i'm gonna have to do um once i do the cargo bay to get this this baby leveled up um it's gonna take so much tritanium so i'm glad i did that research to cut down those tritanium requirements but yeah um the saladin i am definitely trying to get to tier seven um other than that i did get a new klingon which is young i believe um let's see when the opponent ship shield health is depleted he increases weapons 10 percent 
He increases the damage against Romulan ships by 25% of the crew's health. So, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of mediocre. Like, what else? Um, he does sync up with Mara, which is kind of cool. But other than that, I really haven't gotten too many new crew members. Getting lots of shards of crew here and there. Um, but nothing all that, all that, all that much. Um, so, just playing with that. I did see the ad for, what is it, Return to Darkness. Um, it's probably going to be coming up this weekend. I'm like, oh, great. Uh, <laughs> uh, a mission with the swarm. Although, I had an idea that was going to come up because there were a lot of systems, a lot of the new systems that, that were unexplored. So... Um, I'm looking looking forward to those those free missions to do. Hopefully, get some uncommon, some rare. Um, but other than that, I mean, the game has been very quiet. Um, nothing all that much going on here. Um, I have been testing out some of the Enterprise cadets, and I've been getting really interesting results. Um, trying to work on another video for that. But everything else, you know everything is going well so um if you do have any ideas for videos pop that down below join the vo join the discord chat where we talk about just a whole bunch of random stuff all the time um and you know definitely like this video if you like it share it uh comment i appreciate all the all the feedback everyone provides on the videos um and uh that's it take care be kind to one another, and I will talk to you guys later.